Why I'm back? Tomorrow night. They will clear the wrist. He floor Mr. one. Mr. Tsumabuki was a friend of my gramps. I met him a couple of times when I was a kid. Pretty sure he was the dean of some other academy back then. He was kind of famous as an educator. I think the government even gave him an award or something. My gramps never shut up about how great he was. And from what I could tell, he was right. But about five years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki got sick and quit his old job. Even to the day my gramps died, he was worried about the guy. I remember it pretty well. Then two years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki came out of nowhere and showed up here. He seems different from what I remember, though. Real talk, I think the guy's gone senile. I mean, praying? In the middle of all this? If you've got time to pray, you've got the time to fix the problem yourself. Much better to take action than sit around crying. You'd have to be pretty messed up yourself to put a guy like that on a pedestal. Leaving things up to someone else is the same as ditching your own free will. Without it, what's the point in anything? That's no way to live, if you ask me. Life's about proving your worth, after all. Leaving your mark on the world. It seems this place, too, is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my... <laughs> as hell. I feel like I'm gonna lose it even more. Oh my God. Should have just listened. rock over there one of those ideal things you were talking about yeah. looks like a piece of cheap jewelry no wonder they break so easily I got this call out of nowhere the monarch of gluttony offered me a pretty sweet deal after I got dragged into the other world I haven't seen the chick since though that stuffed animal of yours sticks pretty close, right? Maybe the monarchs have different personalities. Oh, you know what? Wow. Now that I think about it, I haven't had a dream about Yoru since the anomaly started either. You've met her, right, Mr. VP? Hey. Karama mentioned having a similar dream himself. Thought so. I bet all the pack bears had one. Wonder what she's after. All right, let's get to work.
This stuff is my magic gear, right? Yeah. The monarch of gluttony gave me the rundown. Yeah. You surprised? They're pretty rare in Japan. Don't worry about my aim, though. My gramps beat the basics into my head. I won't screw anything up. Good. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's moving time. Get ready. Take this. Here I come. Let the 
fools. Just desserts. Get ready. Together as one. <laughs> Not half bad. You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. Deserved it most. Why is it I who suffers so? Why is it I who wallows in anguish? They are unworthy, yet happy. While I am worthy, yet miserable. This world is unjust. This must be a mistake. If I must remain in misery, then they should be even more miserable than I. Thank. Be one jealous will. Probably means the sin is envy, huh? <laughs> what a lame ass pack bearer. I'd never see eye to eye with someone like that. Now. Hmm. Hey, what the hell is this? I thought you guys were the true student council. This place is a dump. So this is that new Taro, huh? He's practically an academy legend. Partially because he's one of the heirs to the Date group. And because he brought in a new model for art class. And because he got separated during a field trip and ended up touring all of Japan before returning. And because the Academy added multiple pages to the school handbook specifically because of him. He's made quite a name for himself. During the last school entrance ceremony, he vanished abroad for an entire year. He didn't even tell his family. He only just got back. That gap year he took is the reason he's in your grade. But he should actually be in Nozomi's. Yes, he should. His disappearance sent the entire academy into an uproar. So, Ryotaro. Why have you come to the TSC? 
Me and Mr. VP are partners now. Just until we take down this pesky little pack bear. That's all. Excuse me? How do you know about the pack bears in the first place? Because I'm the pack bearer of gluttony. Duh. You? A pact bear? I think I need to sit down. <laughs> so your current comrade is a derelict drifter of a delinquent, hmm? Where's that voice coming from? You've given oh. another pact bearer your clearance. It should be no trouble to make my appearance. a feisty, fearless fellow. Look upon me, for I am Vanitas, a mighty being born of the abyss. And you, human, are irresistibly interesting. Intriguing, in fact. Devote yourself dutifully to my dominion, and I may be fain to furnish a few favors. This a stuffed animal or something? No, wait. Is this thing a demon? Eh, not like I care either way. The only will I follow is my own. Yeah. It would seem, VP, that okay. you have quite a knack for bringing these utterly deranged people back. Huh. This little guy's pretty damn fluffy. Hmm. What is this, Rex fur? That's some swanky shit. Hey, stop! Be gentle with Mr. Bunny! You're going to stretch his ears out! Ryotaro, humor me for a moment. Has the Vice President explained how dangerous using your authority can be? Yeah. And? So what? So what? It's capable of distorting the very fabric of our reality, that's what. It can't be that big a deal. I mean, it's nothing compared to a weapon of mass destruction. I ain't planning on giving it up for anything. And I ain't gonna let you guys take me out either. I've got plans for this power. We're teaming up because it's convenient. But if any of you get in my way after this, we just might end up on opposite sides. One. I've heard that maggots can barely see. Just another... Wait up. I got something to say. Oh. Ah. Uh. See you guys. See you guys. On the next episode.